What's up guys? Have you ever wondered what it's like to own a race car? I'm gonna walk you through it quickly. If you have a look at this, this is a EK4 body. It's pretty much lightweight. It's dirty. Uh, the windows are all plexin. As you can see, we've cut a great big hole in the door. I was busy cutting more off the door yesterday. Try to see if I could shave some more weight off of that. Uh, I've been busy with the wiring, trying to steal some more weight off the wires. Um, that's what I've basically managed to take out of the car. So kind of hand weighted, weighed about six, seven, eight kilos. It all, a lot of it came from inside, yeah. We don't need vents and none of that stuff. And we just got to get the kill switch to work and the fan and the fuel pump chopped off all the wires cut off this bracket this side that side uh inside yeah taking all the wires apart uh the wires that i have that had dead ends to them i'm just taping it up so i can put it all back nicely uh, what else have we taken off oh yeah it's got type r from an fn2 brakes with some very special ebc pads brake ducts oil cooler to keep those oil temps down while we're going around the circuit big radiator um breathers new breathers as you can see i've spray painted this section and that's still powder coated function over form uh, there's a little catch can it's not really there to catch oil it's just there to catch whatever vapors go through it um, a little air duct to the throttle bodies these are ITBs, as you can see, it does not have a single conventional throttle body. I uh, just made the air box so that we could get cold air to the back instead of it sucking the hot air that's at the back of the engine bay. Brake booster delete, so the brake pedal is really, really hard. So it does not work unless you jump on it. S80 gearbox, uh, very short ratio, B20. B20B with all the groceries inside and the VTEC head. Got a Gates racing belt, skunk vernier pulleys, some Toyota 560cc injectors running E50 mix, ISC coilovers, which I'll show you, uh, solid mounts everywhere, a Craig Davis fan, keep those temps down, ultra racing strut brace, obviously, EBC racing pads, um, ISC coilies, a rose joint jar as the rack end so that there's less play braided lines so that we don't get no spongy effect battery mounted jar to try keep the weight off the front of the car and try kind of centralize it more has been cut out of this door this bracket i just chopped off yesterday there was another bracket here and now it's become flimsy but you know what it's saving weight all of this stuff you know it doesn't look like much but it adds up i uh, got to put the cluster back and we've got a recaro seat quick release hub a nice little steering wheel uh, two custom gauges one oil pressure and one order temperature just to keep tabs with whatever's going on in the car some spare tires ultra racing bra brackets Everything's been stripped out as much as possible and even though it's been stripped out I'm still looking for more stuff to take out weight from because grams make kilos and kilos make tons and when you take out kilos it makes tons of difference and that's it we've hit a tire wall once with this car so I just stitched it back together but yeah in a nutshell that is what it's like to own a race car i got to get cracking on that thing as well, but first things first is this because I'm racing Kyle Army next weekend.